isn't there? Um, okay. Well, by chance, I'm with the Chief Minister, and behind the Chief Minister is the mention of the 100-day plan. Now, we're all aware of a mon monumental thing that's happened in the UK. Who knows what's going to happen over the next few months? There could be a change of government, a different sort of policy government. Do you plan for such, or do you attempt to plan for such eventualities? Well, Jersey is a, an autonomous island nation, and so we actually focus on our own uh, affairs. Obviously, there are economic challenges across the globe at the moment, and so it is a time of some uncertainty. And we very much think that uh, prudent decision-making and maintaining our stability and our strong financial position are of great importance. If there is a change to a Labour government, who will lead the responses? Because obviously there will be changes in policy which will affect Jersey. Who will, will that be your department? Will you have to deal with that? Well, as an island nation, we always work with leaders around the globe, um, depending on who their population elects to represent them. And um, so we have in the past worked with an, uh, other parties, uh, and I'm sure we would do so if um, that situation arose again. Of course, Jersey isn't actually a nation, it's a dependent territory, they like to say the crown, but of the United Kingdom. So the dependency has implications. We're a crown dependency, and uh, that's a centuries-old uh, situation. Uh, we're very developed and um, quasi-autonomous uh, as, a, as a small island nation. And we also have a very strong and stable and mature uh, government uh, process. So already, your government has already announced, and the Treasurer has announced, about changes in the rules for what used to be called rich immigrants, wealthy individuals. These sorts of changes which happen outside the island could have an, another profound effect on that category of person. Does that, is that something you've looked at? Uh, I'm not if you had a socialist government, if there is such a thing as a socialist government anymore, but if that was to take place, would that encourage them to come here or would it discourage them? Well, um, we, we've made it clear that uh, we uh, are reviewing the, the criteria for 21E residents and of course we welcome um, their contributions to island life and, and we respect the uh, agreements that have brought them here in the past uh, and we, we're not going to remove that from um, our rule books but we are just seeking at this time to um, modify the arrangements but we're doing a review and we're very much focused on ensuring that those relationships uh, flourish into the future um, but perhaps some um, greater contributions could be made uh, particularly with regard to uh, protecting our space and our, our natural environment so that we can create um, homes for islanders um, of all kinds and particularly at this time um, frontline workers such as those who um, work in education and healthcare. It's particularly significant I would suspect that this is a woman who took on a big job in the United Kingdom and has given up through failure. Does it, I mean it doesn't prove anything about them but it is, does it make you feel a bit sad that it's a woman who achieved high office and hasn't fulfilled? Look, um, I am not going to opine um, on the situation. Um, it, it, it is it's not a matter for the people of Jersey, uh, and, and therefore I will uh, let the residents of the United Kingdom um, contemplate that situation. I will leave it there. I won't waste your time because you've got lots of people queuing to see you today. Seems so. Thank you. Mike. Thank you. Thanks for your time.